by now we probably all know the difference between germ theory and uh, terrain theory. But um, I was talking to someone yesterday and I concluded that one is being used to justify uh, uh, or to support the existence of the other. And I'll try and explain it um, as quickly and concisely as I can without using certain trigger phrases. Um, so terrain theory, quickly, just for those who don't know, is that the environment that the um, subject in places themselves in, what they put in, through the mouth, the eyes, the ears, the nose, the skin, senses, all of these things, what they put in, and that's their terrain. And the other one is germ, and germ is um, more to do with um, things in the environment, pathogens and so on. Uh, I think we um, can accept that there are things that can be put in the environment which are toxic. Um, but what, what's key here is the distinction between the terrain and the germ theory. Um, you know, germ theory really is putting the responsibility on, 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 the envir on, on others uh, to, um, you know, pass on germs. Whereas terrain theory is more individual, it's more to do with how well your environment suits your body type and your, your con physical condition, your age, um, and other uh, factors, particularly to do with stress. Um, and so when looking at what terrain, what someone's terrain is, you realize that um, in 2020, people's terrain was altered fundamentally. People were no longer participating in the activities, getting the uh, social interaction, um, perhaps even dietary situations changed. People, you know, would have changed some of their normal eating habits, uh, their normal routines. People were then brought under a, a lot of stress um, and were were sort of disempowered in a way um, from thinking uh, for themselves. And so this for me became, and then so in some cases people were um, encouraged to add to a toxic load to their environment, to their skin, through the hands. Um, and so along with the, uh, the sort of mild asphy asphyxiation business, um, the terrain for, for most people was shifted. And so, of course, if terrain theory is true, then all of these changes, perhaps taking someone into medical uh, care and so on, um, takes them from a warm, you know, soft house to a, a white, cold, clinical, uh, noisy um, place with different food, perhaps not that good. Um, you know, so that's, a, again, a change in terrain that can exacerbate a person's condition. So what I feel like is that we've seen is that terrain has been shifted. This has altered people's state of wellness to a greater or lesser extent, depending on those individual factors and criteria. And this has then brought about a, um, a, a pointing of the finger over at uh, a germ theory and saying, look, it's all about um, the super spreaders and um, nothing at all to do with having impugned or, or uh, uh, harpooned the, 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 the normal terrain environment of the subject. And so that's really, in a nutshell, what I think has happened. And, um, you know, obviously the, 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 the changed terrain situation continues. And in some places it's becoming worse or more uh, extreme from the original terrain and environment. So some will adapt, some will not. Uh, and it will be, and germ theory will be once again used as the scapegoat to, or the Trojan horse. Um, but yeah, it's really, it, it really, for me, it underpins terrain theories, um, um, solidity as a as the as the chimp principle means by which uh, a herd or a community becomes unwell is that it's just uh, typically one 
person who has um, their own uh, terrain or environmental shift, stress levels or other other things, um, sleeplessness, um, you know, lack of you know good nutrition um, and lack of love. Um, and perhaps if it's true that our traumas are being played out here, you know, that we are, we are being forced to face trauma, then the bottling up of that trauma will cause the lid to pop of the corona bottle. So That's my thoughts on that. I thought I'd share that and, um, you know, spread it widely if you think that it's useful for people to consider this. You know, it's actually such a clever ploy. You know, use one thing, you know, actually, once again, the tr more likely to be the truth. Use that um, as, a, as a catalyst to create a, a belief in the other thing. Which reminds me of Einsteinian relativity, you know, which is also one of those things that's partially true but it's also skewed to make you think that that just means that wherever you move on the ball the ball magically rolls underneath you I think it's more like the roof magically rolls uh, or recenters itself upon you you know um, not that it's always a line you know holding itself in alignment to you of course not as you move around the dance floor you know the lights do move further away or they are further away but this is all centered, relatively centered on you. So I hope you have a good day and I'll leave it short.